Welcome to the flip side, and welcome to another episode of Arc Sur Oh my gosh, that Mesopithecus on my lap is just the most horrifying thing. I really, really hate it <laughs> a lot. But you know what? We're just going to be happy that we have a friend who loves us unconditionally, because how could he not love us unconditionally when we give it love when it is that hideously ugly? Okay, so look, here's the dealio. We are still looking for Baryonyx. And so we are back here in another swampland to see if we can get lucky with a Baryonyx find today. And we are day six, five or six at this point into being dog parents again. And this is Sarah and I, this is talking real life. Okay, I know there was a hard transition there from talking about a Baryonyx to real life stuff. Okay, Sarah and I are not actively looking for a Baryonyx in real life, even though that would be pretty sick. At the same time, it would probably be a fool's errand, as it would likely try to mar- Wow, that is a really orange, beautiful snake. Would have been better suited in the Halloween event than the summer event, but you know, still pretty cool. Uh, I'd also take a Sarko, but Sarah and I, as we have discussed, I don't even know how many times- oh! That was kind of terrifying. I think it's been leeched. Uh, I don't even know how many times we've talked about this now. Lots of times. We've got a dog. We've got a new puppy. And we're about five or six days into that now. And I think we're I think we're starting slowly to get into a routine. We'll see. Time will tell when it comes to that. But we were able to record uh, earlier today for our co-op series. And then I'm doing an episode or two tonight. And then the real test, though, is going to be tomorrow when Sarah goes back to work and it's just me and the pup at home and I've got a bunch of work to do for the trampoline park and for Reflect and Flip Setter Productions next week. Uh, it's a really full week for me, so I'm going to have to be really on watching that dog and crating her occasionally. And I just hate crating her because I want to be... Ooh, oh, I thought that was Baryonyx. This is kind of a cool little alcove. Uh, I just want to be with her. That's why I got a dog, so I can cuddle with it, and it can sit next to my feet. Alas, she's not quite, she's not quite there yet. All right, it'll probably take her a year or two to be totally content with just sitting in the room with me and doing essentially nothing. That That's what I'm going for one of these days, is I want a dog who will, of course, ooh, 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 I was about to get up, but then I saw Baryonyx. Who of course wants to go for walks and play and stuff like that, but when I'm working, you could just kind of like chill. Where'd it go? Where did it go? All the way out on the beach. All right. It's a shifty guy, isn't he? Oh, 16. It is a lady. It's not even a guy. Sorry, dude. Et. Man. All right, let's see. Got a green Pariser, which are definitely gonna, not going to help us in the caves we have to go to. Um, I'm really not seeing anything else good, so I think it's time to move on to a different swampy area. As it appears, this one is another bust. Dang it. It's that artifact of the pack one that's, that's wigging me out right now, because obviously we need to get megalodons or probably a basilosaurus actually a really good basilosaurus is probably going to be our best choice for the underwater caves like an army of megalodons but then we ride the basilosaurus so we don't we don't get stunned so that we do not fall prey to the jellyfish and the eels because that's what's going to do us in faster than anything else like we can pump some health into things but if we're stunned we don't, we don't have enough health to be able to survive being helpless in the middle of a swarm of angry oceanic beasts. So a Basilosaurus and an army of Megalodons. I think that's the direction we will go. Or maybe an army of Basilosauruses. Nah, maybe. Maybe they are passive tames. The only thing that makes them tricky is the mantas that are hanging around them. But if we could find... Like five or six. Uh, really, we only need two good ones. If we can find a male and a female, and then we can breed the Basilosauruses and get some really good stats going on. Maybe that's maybe that's the best. Maybe we'll do an army of Basilosauruses. I've never done that before. 
I think Sarah and I have tamed maybe collectively over the course of our hundreds and hundreds of hours in Ark. Uh, maybe we've tamed two Bacillosauruses total? Uh, so they've never really been my bread and butter, but hey, if they can help us knock out some of these some of these artifacts, then I am all on board. Speaking of artifacts, eventually we're gonna have to find ourselves a good Yuba to do the artifact of the strong cave. Okay, look, I should I should really just let my stamina recharge instead of trying to just push this tanner to its absolute breaking point. All right, this is not the Tour de France, Jacob. You can take a little bit of a break when it comes to pushing your creatures to go up and down the hills as fast as possible. But here's the thing, I just, I gotta go fast, all right? I'm like Sonic, man. Not Sonic, man. Like Sonic, period, man. You understand what I'm trying to say. Or you don't. And if you don't, I can't help you. I'm so sorry. Listen, I'm starting to get pretty tired. Um, it is about seven o'clock in the evening, which is far later than we usually, than I usually record these, these solo ops. Usually I do these solo videos pretty early in the day. Um, and then edit them and you know, I got other stuff that I have to do in the day. So I usually try to bust it. Wow, that is a beautiful raptor. I should have just tamed it just because of how cool it was. Nah. Oh well, it's dead now. Um, yeah, I usually record these ones early in the day, so now uh, I feel myself with the sun starting to go down. It's starting to, my body's been like, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is the time we've been sleeping. But as the days shorten and the nights elongate, my body will readjust. I mean, we're not quite there on the calendar yet. Still gonna be daytime for a while, which is a brilliant thing. But it's so smoky here. So there's a fire a handful of miles away from us. The east. And the smoke from the fire has been blowing in over the last couple days. And it has been horrifically bad here. Like, the fire must be insane. Because I have gone downstairs now for two, two days now and found piles of ash on my car. Okay, maybe not piles, but a layer of ash on my car. Um, so it's, it's really scary. It's scary for the people who are having to deal with the actual fire. Here I am complaining just about the smoke and some ash. Um, but yeah, I feel that's just must be so scary for the people who are actually dealing with that. So, uh, thankfully, I've never been really involved or privy to any kind of, man, natural disasters or anything. I mean, we get earthquakes here in Reno all the time, but it's nothing like terrible. It's not even kind of crazy earthquake. It's just like, oh, hey, did you feel that? And then you go on like Facebook later and every single person on your feed is like, did you feel the earthquake? And we're like, yes, we all, we all felt it. All right, we all felt the earthquake. Where are the Baryonyxes? Come on, be, be good, be good, be good. Level eight, fantastic. I'm so happy we came over here again. Um, let's see. I'm not gonna deal with the Sally. Make sure my tanner's on neutral, just in case I get knocked off. Oh, there's a Rex down here. Rexes don't usually spawn down here. Interesting. Maybe he's a, maybe he's a special guy. Ooh, level 100, but he's a male. Better than Jerry, though. No, I'm not gonna get him yet. We could find higher level Rexes in other other maps. We don't really need him for this one. Um, okay, so he must die. 20 Baryonyx. Why don't you learn from that Rex over there and be a level 100, huh? Stupid Baryonyx, and then you wouldn't die. I mean, I would tame you. You wouldn't die from me, but there is a good chance that you would die because of me down the line, but you know, that that's, it's all just in inferences we're making at this point. It's all conjecture. That's the fancy word I'm looking for. Yeah, let's not get caught in conjecture, Bill. Okay, that's just not a good place that anybody wants to be. Sarko, please. At this point, I will take a Sarko or a Baryonyx. I'm not being picky. Come on, baby. Anything. Well, that's kind of a fun one. I assumed it was a low level because it's bleeding. So I'm like, Psh, if it was a high level, it wouldn't have even bled in a fight. 
in a throwdown. Die, frog. You deserved every bit of that death. Okay, Sarko, my boy. What we got? What you got for me? Level 8. Oh, good! Dang it. This is going to be the, the freaking Therizinosaur search all over again. Ah! I do not like that. <laughs> I do not like that. That is horrifying. Tanner, please don't let me die, okay? I'm taking this leech off for you. Protect me. Uh, I don't know where it is, okay. Excuse me, pardon? Level 16, okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm hoping that through murdering all these things in the, in the swamp that other things are going to spawn. I mean, I know for a fact that that is true, that more things will spawn as I continue to murder everything here, but... Is it going to be high level things? So, oh, level 36, that's like the best I've found. That's so sad. That's so sad that that's the best we found. All right, um, man, we could go try to go. Oh, whoa, please be good. Please be good, you got cool colors. 48. I should tame it. I should just, I should just tame it. It's not great, but you know what? It's got cool coloring and at least we'll have something. Where'd it go? Oh man, what am I doing hunting in the swamp? Um, that Baryonyx could not have gone far. Watch me accidentally slice it, just moving through the trees. That would be really unfortunate. Okay, Cannonball. Oh, okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, 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 hang in there, hang in there. Oh, oh, my mouse is going out. Okay, we're good. Didn't think it would take much. And he's sleeping. Okay, great. Ah, stupid freaking Dilopy. Okay, there we go. Uh, Tanner, 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 thank you. Calling him Tanner, his name is clearly Thor. My bad, dude. Don't even worry about who Tanner was. Tanner is just, ay -oh! Okay, don't want to name him that. that. That's a silly name. Baryon is level 71, and he looks so good. Well, let me look at, come here. See you in the sun. Now, is that black or is it green? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that looks so sick. All right, Baryonyx, you will follow me. Because we are going to continue looking. So I'm hoping that we could find either a female or just a just a better better you in general. But now that we found one Baryonyx, we're going to stick to looking for Baryonyx. This, this is. No more Sarkos will be allowed into the party. The bouncer will now escort them away from the door and off the premises. And they will not be invited back, even if they come bearing pies. Female level four. You gotta be kidding me, man. I wish there was something. I'm sure there is. I'm sure you can go into like the files. Oh, ooh, it's a level 76. No, no, we're not doing Sarkos. I already decided we're going with the Baryonyx, so. Have to make the hard choices in life. Really, I didn't have to kill that thing, but yeah, it also totally needed to die. Um, and we lost him. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Look at him go. I gotta turn off that, that fish hunting setting. Dude, 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 don't stop, stop moving. You're killing me right now. Okay, you could just stay right there. No, oh my gosh. Okay, well you guys can kill this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's enough. Maybe, ah. Don't seek fish. All right, you got plenty of fish in your inventory, dude. You're fine. Now follow me, let's go. We're gonna meet him. Okay, 
can still fall on. All right, we're just gonna go up and around the corner here and see if we can find ourselves another Baryonyx. I'm hopeful that the further north we go on the map, the better level spawns we're gonna... Gosh darn it. Evidently, my assumptions could not be more wrong. But I think I was starting to say a sentence earlier that I never finished. It would be nice, and again, I'm sure there's a way you could probably do this, but to just force the levels to be, like, higher. Or it's either, like, 100 to 150. Like, everything spawns within that range. And just, just denying the opportunity of things to spawn under that. That way we don't get caught in these episodes where all we're doing is looking for one creature of a decent level. But, you know, I guess it is kind of fun. It makes it certainly more exciting when we find one. The payoff is is there. But, okay, let's just take this one down. We don't need to be dealing with no Sarkos right now. All right, come on, dude. Try to navigate these trees for me, would you? We doing good? Oh, yeah, he's on it. He's a, he's a feisty dude. He's clever. His pathfinding is not too bad. I've seen significantly worse. Significantly worse. I do have a cryopod I could throw him in, but I figured I'd keep him out of the cryopod so that he can start gaining some levels. Uh, just in case we don't find another one. And we end up just taking him into the artifact caves, which does not sound like the best idea, quite frankly. It's only a level 46. All right, I'm trying not to hold that against him, but it doesn't fill me with confidence. Well, we're going to be going underwater with piranhas and sarcos. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing a lot going on here. 52. And he's fighting a Sally's. No Baryonyx is there. Did I lose him? No, we're good. Thought I saw something glowing, but I did not. Oh man. I hear my wife playing with the dog outside. I wanna I wanna go play with them. Oh! Nope, Carno. Carno! That's okay. Carno no no. Carno no no! Let's go kill it. Let's go kill it! But here's the dealio, guys. Today is going to be a bit of a shorter episode just because uh, I'm here I'm hearing my wife and, and my dog playing. And oh, no, no, wrong thing, wrong thing, wrong thing. And I, I would really like to be a part of that. Um, so I think we're going to just call it an episode. We got our Baryonyx. He's a level 73. Not great, but it's a blue monkey. That is the bluest monkey I've ever seen. All right, don't worry. I handled the business. I handled business. It has been it has been taken care of. Wow. Why? Why with all this crap? Wow. I don't know. May, uh, Thor, are you planning on starting like a, a clothing store or something, dude? Because that's a significant amount of just uh, this clothing you had on your person. It's a little odd for a there is Inosaur to be so finely dressed. <laughs> but this is where we're going to end the episode today. We got our Baryonyx. It would appear that we're just going to be leveling this guy up until uh, he we feel confident enough in his ability to take us through an artifact cave. And maybe we will also bring a There is Inosaur or four in Cryopods just in case because there is... A chance that in the artifact of the pack, yeah, the pack, um, that a Therizinosaur could get us through it because it can swim, but it's not very fast. And if piranhas are behind us, we're gonna take a lot of damage, but it likely could be done. It likely could be done. So maybe we'll give it a shot. But I think next episode, we are going to go ahead and head into a cave and try to get the artifact of the pack. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're all having a fantastic day and thank you so much for being patient with Sarah and I as we are trying to nail down how to do this 
puppy parent thing and also still maintain all the work that we need to do and um, yeah it's, it's been kind of tricky we've been having a bit of a hard time juggling everything in this first little bit but we're hopeful that things will slow down a little bit here but anyway just want to say thank you guys for your patience and your understanding and for watching the video and we will see all of you guys on the flip side.